heart went Okay, so equality. So matrix A will be equivalent to matrix B if um, corresponding elements are equal. So, first and foremost, for two matrices to be equal, they have to have the same size. Okay? If sizes are different, automatic they will not be equal. Okay? Secondly, or second, every element um, every particular data or entry position must have the same entry on the opposite matrix. So, halimbawa, you have matrix A, which is 3 by 3, at yung laman niya ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. For this to have a corresponding equal matrix, dapat same size, 3 by 3 din. At kung anong laman ni first row, first column, yun din ang laman doon, ang first row and first column mo. So, this should be 1 din. Tapos, yung second row, first column mo, dapat 4 din. Ito ay dapat 7 din. Ibig sabihin, they are completely identical. Kung nagkataon nito ay 10, automatic, they will not be equal. Okay? So, this should be 9 for us to consider that the two matrices are equal. Addition and subtraction of matrices. So, for you to be able to add or subtract subtract between matrices, they must be conformable for the operation required. Okay, so, for example, two matrices must be conformable for addition, two matrices must be conformable for subtraction, two matrices must be conformable for multiplication before you can proceed with the operation. So, kung siya ay addition or subtraction, para masabi mo na conformable ang matrix, Isa lang yung requirement. They should be of the same size. If the matrices are not of the same size, then the operation is not possible. Or should we say undefined? Okay. So for example, you have matrix A, which is equivalent to uh, 3, 4, negative 5, 3, 1, 2, negative 1, 3. 4, 6, 1, negative 1. This is a matrix of what size? This is 4 by 3. So, pwede ko lang siyang i-add or i-subtract sa isang 4 by 3 matrix din. So, let's provide matrix B. Let's say matrix B is 0, 1, 2, 3, negative 2, 5, 8, 7, mm, negative 3, 1, 4, negative 2. This matrix B is 1, 2, 3, 4 rows, 3 columns, so 4 by 3 din siya. Matrix A is 4 by 3, matrix B is 4 by 3, then we can proceed with addition. How do we add matrices of the same size? Simply add their corresponding elements. So, first row, first column entry to first row, first column entry of the other matrix, we add. So, 3 plus 0 will be 3, 4 plus 1 is 5. Negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3. You have 6. Negative 1. 7. 7. 10. 1. 7. 5. And negative 3. Okay. So, ang issue lang dito is, if the data given or the entries given are very, are so simple, we usually do mental computation or mental mental addition or subtraction. Okay? Minsan na nagkakamali tayo, nagkakaroon ng minor error. So, automatic if you get an error on one data, that changes the whole matrix itself. So, one error, even if it's a negative sign, will make your matrix incorrect. So, this one is negative 1 because that's 1 plus negative 2. That's negative 1. If we'll be asked for A minus B, then 
that would be a minus b. So 3 minus 0 is 3, 3, negative 7, 0, 3, negative 3, negative 9, negative 4, positive 7, positive 5, negative 3, and positive 1. For addition, we can say that it can be um, commutative, di ba? Kasi kahit magkapalit si matrix B at si A, halimbawa, we look for B plus A, we will still result with the same set of matrix, di ba? 0, 0 plus 3 is still 3, negative 2 plus 1 is still negative 1, negative 3 plus 4 is still positive 1. So, it's commutative. But of course, again, if it's subtraction, a minus B obviously will not be equivalent to B minus A because there will be a change in sign for the entries in the new matrix. Okay? There are two kinds of matrix multiplication. One is a scalar multiplied to a matrix or vice versa, a matrix multiplied by a scalar or it can be multiplication between two matrices. So the first one, which is scalar multiplied to a matrix, let's say you have, um, let's say you have matrix A Matrix A is denoted by, of course, A11, A21, A31. Let's say we have, um, let's say we have this as a rectangular matrix, matrix of three by two. This is A12, A22, and A32. So this is three by two. You have three rows, two columns. Let's say we're solving for a constant or a scalar value to be multiplied by matrix A. What we do is, we simply multiply every scalar, every constant value to every entry or element in the matrix. So, mayayari lang dito, this will be K multiplied by A11, K times A21, K times A31, and so on. Until you're able to multiply um, all the elements by the scalar value K. So, let's say this is matrix A has values, let's say you have... 1, 2, 3, 3, negative 5, 6. And then, let's say we're looking for, we are trying to solve for 2A. Oh, yun. What we do is, we simply multiply each entry here by 2. Ano nga po? So, that would be 1 times 2, 2 times 2, 3 times 2, 3 times 2 ulit, negative 5 times 2, and 6 times 2. Or, pwedeng pabalik kita, di ba? If you notice, there's a common factor between all the entries on your matrix. Pwede mo siyang i-factor out. Pwede mo siyang i-factor out. And that would result to this matrix times 2 sa unahan. Pwede siyang i-factor, di ba? It would be 2 times 1, 2, 3, 3, negative 5, 6. It can be the other way around. So, tatandaan, kung scalar lang naman yun, you simply multiply every entry or element by the scalar value or the scalar quantity. Paano mam kapag ang question is A times 2? Bawa, A2. Ganun pa din, doesn't change, di ba? Ito pa rin yung magiging sagot mo. You simply multiply every element in the matrix by 2. So, it will still result in this answer, which means scalar multiplication to a matrix is commutative. Okay, so next multiplication is a matrix being multiplied to another matrix. So, for matrices to be multiplied, they should follow conformability. Ibig sabihin, the matrices should be conformable for multiplication. Kanina, when we were solving for addition or subtraction, the matrices are conformable for addition or subtraction if their sizes are the same. Okay? But for matrix multiplication, conformability does not necessarily require um, Equal sizes. Ang mahalaga dito is, for example, if you have matrix A, and matrix A is sized as M by N, and you try to multiply this, so this is matrix A, 
m by n, you're multiplying this to matrix B. Let's say matrix B has dimensions P by Q. So in this order, A times B, A muna bago B, for us to be able to proceed with multiplication, kailangan conformable sila. At para masabi mong conformable itong dalawang ito, dapat yung multiplicand mo or yung first matrix mo, yung number of columns niya, which is N, dapat equal yun sa number of rows ng second matrix mo or ng multiplier mo. And that would be P. So, ibig sabihin, if these two are equal, therefore, conformable siya. If not... If they are not equal, ibig sabihin, we cannot proceed with multiplication. They cannot be multiplied. Therefore, undefined ulit yung sagot natin. Okay? So, if two matrices are indeed conformable for multiplication, yung resulting answer nito, which is, let's say, ang sagot niya ay matrix C, ang size ni matrix C po will be determined by the extremes naman. So, ito yung magiging size ng answer. So, yung M rows ni A at yung Q columns ni B will be the size of our product matrix. That would be M by Q. So, kailangan bago kayo mag-multiply, i-check nyo muna if the number of columns ng first matrix is equal to the number of rows of the second matrix. Bago kayo mag Proceed sa pagmumultiply. Okay, so let's learn how to multiply two matrices. But instead of showing you the formula on how we do it, let's just proceed with an example. So let's say we have two matrices. Let's say we have matrix X. Matrix X is a matrix which is 4 by 3. This 4 by 3 matrix contains the following entries. So, we're going to make 4 rows and 3 columns. Let's say we have negative 1, 0, 4, 3, 2, negative 2, negative 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 5. So, this is 4 rows, 3 columns. And let's say we're trying to multiply this with um, matrix Y. And matrix Y is a 3 by 2 matrix. So we have 3 rows for this and 2 columns. Let's say we have 2, 2, 5. And then negative 1, 1, 0. 3 rows, 2 columns. Okay. If we are being asked to solve for X times Y... We have to check if this is conformable. So, this is 4 by 3 and this is 3 by 2, which means they are conformable since X has 3 columns, Y has 3 rows equal. Therefore, conformable, we can multiply. Thus, the resulting matrix of X times Y, let's say that is matrix Z. And matrix Z obviously should have an answer who has 4 rows and 2 columns. So, dapat ito ay 4 by 2 yung sagot natin. Okay? mag expect tayo na meron tayo ditong 4 rows ng sagot and 2 columns of entries. So, how do we do this? Okay. For Z11, sulat ko lang dito before I erase this. Okay? For element Z11, remember the product, the product's subscript or coordinates or notations Ito pong first subscript natin will refer to the first row of the first matrix or your multiplicand. And yung second subscript mo will refer to the column of the second matrix. So, ibig sabihin, ito ay 1, 1, first row, dito. Ito ay first column. So, lahat ng multiplicands mo, rows yung gagamitin natin sa kanya for, the, for your multiplicand. And for your multiplier, we will be utilizing its columns. So, for, for entry Z11, that would be first row, first column. Tapos, ang gagawin natin dito is, we're going to take the product of corresponding terms. Diba dito sa first row ni X, you have three entries. Tapos, yung first column ni Y, you have three entries also. So, ang gagawin nyo lang po is, multiply corresponding entry. So, ito ay first entry, first entry. First entry sa row, first entry sa column. Mumultiply lang natin yan. Negative 1 times 2. 
That's negative 2. Second entry sa room, second entry sa column, 2 times 2, that's 4. And then we have third entry sa room, third entry sa column, 0 times 5, that would be 0. So, pag nakuha mo na yung products ng mga to, negative 1 times 2, 2 times 2, 0 times 5, you're going to add all three products, and that will result to your Z11. So, if you write that, oh, if, you're, if you want to write it, that would be negative 1 times 2, plus 2 times 2, plus 0 times 5. And then, yung sum natin dito would represent Z11. So, we have negative 2 plus 4 plus 0. So, negative 2 plus 4 is 2 plus 0 is positive 2 pa din. Which means, Z11 is equivalent to 2. So, let's write that down. As our first entry, that would be 2. So, kung meron ka, kung, kung yung matrix mo ay nakasulat na dyan, hindi mo naman, hindi naman natin kailangan isulat pa yung solution na ginawa ko, ba? Tapatan mo na lang ng daliri yan. Daliri yan. So, you have negative 1 times 2, that's 2. Ah, sorry. Negative 1 times 2, that's negative 2. Plus, 2 times 2, 4. So, negative 2 plus 4, that's positive 2. Plus, 0 times 5 is 0. So, positive 2 plus 0, positive 2. Okay, let's try another one. So, let's proceed to the second row. Ibig sabihin, you have Z, 2, second row, first column entry. So, Z, 2, 1 entry ito. So, for Z, 2, 1, we are going to use second row naman. Pero, first column pa din. So, lahat, parang ang mayayari dito. Lahat ng gagamitan mo ni first column, dun papatak sa first column ng sagot. Lahat ng gagamitan mo ng second column, dun papatak sa second column na sagot, ng sagot. Lahat ng gagamitan mo ng first row, dun papatak sa first row ng sagot. Ganun lang yung sequence natin. So, for Z21, that would be second row. Dito naman tayo titingin. Second row, first column. So, ang sequence kayo natin ay, ay ito. 0 times 2 plus negative 2 times 2 plus 1 times 5. Row by column. Okay. Pwede na diretso na. Kasi huwag muna. <laughs> so, that would be 0 times 2 plus ulit negative 2 times 2 tapos 1 times 5. So, we have 0 plus negative 4 plus 5. Therefore, our answer is positive 1. Pwede nyo i-mental yun. Or Para safe at hindi magkamali, para sure. Diba? Mahirap bang pindutin yung 0 times 2 sa calc Hindi naman po. Kaya lang, mas madaling mag-mental manipulation, ba? Ang problema lang is, um, minsan nagkakaroon ng minor errors sa sign, or pag nag-add, minsan, impulses, sa so nagkakaroon ng error. So, if you do not want an error, you, can use your, you are free to use your calculator. Okay? Next. Let's say, kunin naman natin ngayon si Z12. Diba? That's your first row, second column entry. First row, second column entry. So, ibig sabihin, gagamit ako ng first row. Mumultiply ko yun sa second column ng kabilang matrix. So, ang sequence natin kay Z12, or ang magka-partner natin kay Z12 would be first row, second column. So, that would be negative 1 times negative 1, plus 2 times 1, plus 0 times 0. So, we have 1, 3, 3. Tama ba? Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1 plus 2 times 1 that's 2. So, 1 plus 2 that's 3 plus 0 times 0 0. So, our answer is 3. 1, positive 1 positive 3 0. So, ina-add ko na ng diretso. Then, we have 3 here. So, para hindi ka malito, pwede ka naman mag-start na puro, puro rows muna, tapos first column, para lahat ang sagot mo dito. May sistema. Hindi yung kung alin ang mag -una, magustuhan mong unahin. Ano? Okay, so dito tayo. Third row, first column. So, we have 8 minus 2, ba 6 plus 0. So, 6. We have 3 times 2, so 6. Plus 2, 8. Plus 25, 33. 
Then, we have first row, second column naman tayo. Tapos na tayo sa first column dito. Second column naman. So, we have positive 1 plus 2. So, 3 plus 0 is 3. Yan yung sagot natin kanina. Second row, second column. So, we have 0, negative 2, negative 2. in ko na ha. 0 plus negative 2. So, negative 2 plus 0. So, negative 2 pa din. Then, we have negative 4 plus negative 1. So, negative 5 plus 0. We have negative 5. Lastly, we have 3 times negative 1. So, negative 3 plus 1. Negative 2 plus 0. Negative 2 pa din. Therefore, this, this gives us this gives us matrix Z, which is 4 by 2, and that would be 4 rows, 2 columns, as, predict, as predicted by the sizes of our factors, X and Y. Okay? Pag tinanong tayo, ma'am, pwede bang commutative ang matrix multiplication? Like, for example, hindi X, Y yung tinanong. Instead, hinanap sa akin Y times X. But if we're going to inspect, we know that Y is 3 by 2. And x is 4 by 3. So, in this sequence, sa gantong pagkakasunod, hindi mag equal yung columns ng multiplicand at row ng multiplier. Therefore, si, si y, x would be undefined. Thus, lalabas yung property that matrix multiplication to another matrix is not commutative. x, y will never be equivalent to y times x. Okay, so let's say we have here matrix C. Matrix C as, is a square matrix, which is 1, 2, negative 1, 2, 1, 4, and 1, 0, negative 3 as its entries. Pag nakakita tayo ng matrix C, tapos nakarace siya sa symbol na capital letter T. Capital letter T means transpose. At kapag sinabi nating transpose, ang gagawin mo lang dun daw ay, magpapalitin yung elements na nasa row, i -re rewrite mo siya, at pag nire-rewrite mo siya, gagawin mo na siyang column. So, in the transposed matrix C, yung mga nasa rows niya, isusulat mo na sa column. So, kung 1 to 1 ito, gagawin mo yung first column ng transposed matrix. So, yung second row mo, magiging second column. 2, 1, 0. At yung third row mo, magiging third column. Negative 1, 4, negative 3. At pag napansin mo, yung rows na laman naman ng transpose matrix mo, yun yung columns natin kanina. 1, 2, negative 1. Ito yun. 2, 1, 4. And 1, 0, negative 3. Okay. That is your transpose of a matrix. Next. Pag hiningi naman sa atin, for example, minor... of element A, I, J from a determinant, okay, bago tayo mag-proceed sa determinants, okay, lahat ng determinants, bago natin ito i-discuss, ano, lahat ng determinants are rectangular arrangements then, but they are enclosed in absolute values. And thus gives us um, a specific answer or an integral answer. Okay? So, Kapag humingi daw sa atin ng minor of a certain element, isang element to dito, halimbawa, minor ni 4, or minor ni 1, or minor ni 0, pag hiningi na sa atin si minor, ang sagot daw ng minor ay determinant of order n minus 1. So, kung halimbawa kumuha ka daw ng minor of, an, of aij, minor of an element from an existing determinant of order n, Lagi niyong tatandaan, pag sinabing determinant, pwede lang, na, pwede lang tayong kumuha ng determinant on square matrices. Kapag rectangular yung matrix natin, or irregular yung matrix natin, hindi natin siya pwedeng kuha na ng determinant, thus, it will be undefined. So, kung maghahanap tayo ng minor, kailangan square yung matrix mo, or kung naghahanap tayo ng minor, dapat determinant siya. Okay? Kung hindi siya square, or hindi siya determinant, ibig sabihin, wala tayong makukuhang minor sa kanya. Ngayon, kung humihingi sa atin ng minor of one element from a determinant of order n, since square matrix yan, ibig sabihin, may order yung matrix natin. So, kung ito ay 3 by 3, we know this is third order. So, kung kumukuha daw tayo ng minor from a third order matrix, ang minor daw niya is of order n minus 1. Mababawasan. So, from from 3 by 3, magiging minus 1, 2 by 2 na lang yung magiging sagot natin. Yung 2 by 2 arrangement na yun, yun yung minor ni AIJ. Paano natin makukuha yung 
elements or entries ng 2 by 2 na sagot natin. Ang gagawin lang is, for you to obtain the minor of that particular element, i-cross out mo daw yung row at yung column kung saan kabilang si element A, I, J. Halimbawa, hiningi sa atin, for the symbol of minor, that's capital M. Okay. Halimbawa, hiningi sa atin, minor of element 1, 3. Alin ba yung element 1, 3 natin? That's first row, third column. So, ito yung kinukuhanan ko ng minor. Okay, I'm looking for the minor of 1. 1 is element A13. Ah, or in this case, this is C13. 1 is element C13. Para makuha mo yung minor niya, i-cross out mo daw yung column at yung row kung saan siya kabilang. Diba? So, um, element 1, 3 is included in the first row and in the third column. So, we cross that out. The remaining elements or entries will form your er, your order N minus 1. So, ano na ba ito? Naging 2 rows, 2 columns na ito. Kaya, yun yung second order answer natin. So, yung M13 daw natin is determinant daw po yun ng resulting rectangular arrangement. That's 2, 1, negative 1, and 4. So, since hindi pa tayo nag-aaral ng determinants, we're not going to solve this yet. For the meantime, ito yung sagot natin. But if we know how to solve determinants, kukunin natin yung determinant nito, yun yung sagot natin for the minor. Okay? Halimbawa, hiningi sa atin si minor of element 2, 2. O, di determinant ulit yun. Gagawin mo naman, cross out mo yung second row, second column. So, pag kin-draws out mo yung second row, second column, second row, second column, ito yung matitira. ba? That would be your resulting and minus 1 minor. That would be 1, 1, a negative 1, negative 3. Okay? Kung halimbawa, hiningi naman natin sa atin si cofactor, cofactor of AIJ, tatandaan nyo si cofactor, this is simply A, Signed minor. So, yung symbol po natin kay cofactor ay delta. Kaya pag hiningi sa atin, what is delta 1, 3? Ano daw yung cofactor ng element A13 or element in this case C13? Ang formula po nun ay may formula siya. That is equivalent to negative 1 raised to the sum of I plus J. So, kung ito ay delta ij, o oh, in general, if I'm looking for the cofactor of an element ij, that would be equivalent to a base of negative 1 raised to the sum of i plus j, kung nasaan man yung ating element, multiplied by its minor. So, yung sagot natin kanina, halimbawa, sinolve, di ba sinolve natin kanina si m13? Hmm. Diba ang M13 natin, I cross out natin si first row, third column, will be left with this square arrangement. That would be 2, 1, negative 1, 4. Okay. If I'm solving for the delta of 1, 3, lalagyan mo lang siya nito. Negative 1, raise 2, ano ba yung I throw natin? That's 1 plus 3, kung ano man yung subscript nito. Multiplied by the minor that we have, multiplied by M13. So, that would be negative 1 raised to 4. That's positive 1. So, lalabas, M13 lang ulit ang sagot. Therefore, your cofactor is simply equivalent to your minor, which is 2, negative 1, 1, 4. Remember, determinant ang sagot. So, integral yun. I mean, an integer. Okay? So, sa madalit sabi, kapag yung ating element is positioned in a place where in the sum of its um, subscripts, is even, that will always result to a positive minor. At kung add yung sum ng position ng ating element, halimbawa ay 1 at 2, element 1, 2, so 1 plus 2 is 3, magiging negative. Magiging negative lang yung sagot natin. Ano? Or, pwedeng ganito. Halimbawa, hinanap mo si minor 1, 3. Diba ito yon. I-trace mo lang. Lagi tayo start sa first element is positive, tapos Salitan. So, positive, negative, positive, negative. Any, any direction you go. So, ito ay positive, negative, positive. Ibig sabihin, pag kumuha ka ng cofactor dito, positive nung minor. Kasi positive, negative, positive siya. So, positive 1 times yung minor. Halimbawa, 
hinanap natin si halimbawa we're solving for cofactor of element cofactor of element 3, 3 o oh, diba 3 plus 3 is 6 even yon so positive dapat ang sagot pag tinraise mo sa positive 3, 3, third row, third column so ito yon positive, negative, positive, negative positive pa din positive times so positive 1, di ko na isusulat times minor, yung minor ng element 3, 3 natin. So, ito yun, diba? 1, 2, 2, 1. Halimbawa, hiningi sa atin, cofactor of element 3, 1. O, 3 plus 1, 4. So, positive ulit yun. Alin ba yun? Third row, first column. Third row, first column. Ito yun. So, if we're going to trace that, that would be positive, negative, positive pa din. So, positive 1 times, anong minor niya? Ang minor niya ay 2, 1, 1, 4. Halimbawa, hiningi sa atin si cofactor of two three Second row, third column. Second row, third column. O, ito naman yun. That would be positive, negative, positive, negative. Hindi ka negative 1 ngayon dito. Negative ng minor niya. Anong minor niya? 1, 2, negative 1, 4. Okay, that would be your cofactor.